So it doesn't do you any good to have a professional looking stream, but then the quality of it is poor or it lags. Because what that does is that it makes new viewers who tune into your stream, see that it's lagging and then they leave and never return costing you a new follower or a subscriber. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you the best settings to be able to utilize if you are a console streamer using Streamlabs. That way you can have a high quality looking stream, your viewers can enjoy your content and potentially turn into a new follower or subscriber. Before we get started, let me know if you stream from a laptop or a desktop or a Mac, just go ahead and comment that below. So once you go ahead and have Streamlabs open, the first thing you wanna wanna do is to the left hand side, select settings. We're then gonna go ahead and start in the general tab. This is kind of like a little tip. You never want to be able to start your stream by accident or end your stream by accident. So this is a very important setting to have and that's under output. You wanna make sure you select show confirmation dialogue when starting stream and show confirmation dialogue when stopping stream. So so that's going to avoid you making mistakes either starting or ending your stream. Then we want to go ahead and move over to where it says output. This is going to be where the bulk of the setting happens. This is where it determines whether your stream is going to lag or not. So what we want to do here is on their output mode, you want to select advanced. We're then going to go ahead and encoder. You're going to select software X264. For rate control, we're going to select CBR. And then for bit rate, you're going to want to put it at about 7,750. Now, the way for you to be able to determine whether or not you're able to utilize that figure, it's all going to be based on your internet speed. So what you want to do is you want to go to the description of this video. You want to go to speedtest.net and you're going to want to hit go, right? Once you hit go, that's going to go ahead and calculate your speed and you want this upload figure to be above 10. If it's above 10, you're going to be able to go ahead and easily go ahead and select the settings that I have here, which is the 7,750. And why such a weird number? Well, this is going to be a little pro tip. If you have it at that figure there, regardless if you're a Twitch affiliate, regardless if you're a partner, you're going to be able to have a 1080p looking stream if you use that figure. It's just a little bit of a hack that I wanted to go ahead and share with you. Next, you're going to want to go ahead and put keyframe interval at two you're then going to go cpu usage very fast your profile is going to be at high and then tune you're going to have zero latency so that's going to be the important aspect that you're going to want to go ahead and follow then you're going to come to where it says video this is also going to play a big role because it's going to determine the quality and the aspect that your stream is going to look so you're going to want to have the base at 1920 by 1080 and you're going to want to go ahead and match it to 1920 by 1080 then the downscale you're going to use by linear okay and then common spf you're going to use common fps value and then you're going to put the common fps value at 60 right this is going to ensure that you're going to have the smoothest looking stream possible right then we're going to want to come to where it says advanced you're going to want to go to process priority you're going to want to make sure that's selected on normal the color format nv12 the color space 601 and the color range partial and then you want to make sure you have this check where it says force gpu as render device then you're going to want to hit done and literally that's going to give you the best settings as a console streamer for you to have a nice quality stream that your viewers are going to go ahead and enjoy now what i want you to do is before you hit that go live button i want you to go ahead and watch this video right here where i share five tips for you to be a better console streamer so you grow your stream i'll see you in the next video